The funniest part of my journey with Spoon and Spoon is that it actually started at a birthday party. Um, so I met one of Nicole's co-founders and um, we were just kind of chit-chatting. And at the time I lived in the Midwest and I was working full-time and going to school full-time and was interested in a plant-based diet for my own personal like research and reason, um, reasons. Um, and kind of quickly shifted from sort of like, what do you do to how do I sign up? Like it was a very immediate um, sale on the customer front. I mean, so that was sort of like, that my initial experience, I started as a customer, then I was really excited about the concept and idea as an investor. And then um, this co-founder of Nicole's at the time had uh, reached out to me actually when I was in transition. So I was stepping away from my world um, in the industrials um, in middle market manufacturing and knew I, I wanted to go after um, the intersection of food and health and food and tech. Um, but I didn't quite know how I was gonna do that. And he called with an, an operating problem at the time we had just launched smoothies and um, which feels like forever ago, but we had just launched smoothies and they are a different product line. They have a shorter shelf life than everything else. And, and so there were some like bumps in the road as there are um, in early stage business building. And I came in to sort of like parachute in and solve the smoothie purchasing problem. So that was sort of like part one. Um, as you said, I was a consultant first. So I actually was a little like, okay, let me, I just quit my job. I'm in the Midwest. I don't know which way is up. Like, let me do this part time. Um, and that was my consulting project. Um, so uh, it was, it was cool because it was a really nice way to sort of just like get introduced to a completely different um, size stage industry, all of the things um, just by getting my hands dirty and, and sort of like um, proving myself, so to speak. Um, but at the time it wasn't, I wasn't actually like seeking to join Splendid Spoon. It was sort of just the next step and, and an interesting learning opportunity right where I was thinking of going. Um, so after, um, after we solved the smoothie problem, um, we actually were hiring a VP of operations. I came out to New York, um, to train and transition to him. Um, and Nicole was like, how about, how about you stay? How about you move to New York and join the team? Um, and so that was sort of like, I came in as this like um, finance and strategy um, role. Uh, Spoon and Spoon had just raised its series A at the time. Um, and was just kind of in need. I mean, it was like a seven person team. So in need of really um, some additional sophistication and um, structures and systems and just um, tighter strategic thinking and, and things of that nature. Um, and that's what I came in to do initially. Uh, and I think the shift, let's see, the shift from, from finance and strategy and sort of like basics um, there to COO was actually pretty quick. There was a pretty um, quick, there was a couple of just like between the smoothies and um, needing to build out a team for um, marketing and tech, there was there was just a quick um, understanding that like the team reporting to me made sense um, just from like an operator standpoint. I had a little more operating experience. Nicole's a super talented chef, super talented communicator and brand builder. Um, but I had, you know, just graduated business school and had some of those more like operating skill sets. Um, and so we shifted pretty quickly into the COO um, and CEO dynamic um, in early 2019. Um, and that re worked really well for us. Um, it gave us a chance to sort of um, like find our ways in these new roles uh, and to build trust and to uh, sort of like understand our respective strengths and weaknesses. Um, but over time, it pretty organically evolved candidly into sort of more of a partnership. Um, and I think it was the beginning of 2021, we decided to like formalize this into a co-CEO relationship. Um, and it, it has been very effective for us. Um, so there's, there's, lots of different bumps and bruises along the way, but it's been, um, it's been a really effective model for us.